In this video, I will show you how you can install or set up IP or network CCTV cameras. I have here two IP cameras. When you look at the terminals, you can see that they both have Ethernet ports and it's a confirmation that the two cameras are IP cameras. These two cameras will be what we'll be using. I have my network video recorder or MVR here. I also have here a PoE switch through which we will do the connection of our cameras. And because we are installing IP cameras, we require network cables for the various connections between the cameras and then the MVR connection. So I have a couple of network cables available to be used. All right, so now let's begin with the setup process. The very first thing to do in a standard installation is to have the cameras mounted at the various locations or the various points in the premise at which you are setting up the cameras. And then also you will have to also place your network video recorder or MVR also at the central location to which the cameras will be placed as well. And so the network video recorder is also there and the network switch will also be placed just by the network video recorder. So now let's start with the connections. The first connection to do is to connect a network cable from each camera and get to the network switch. So network cable will be plugged into the camera and this network cable will then run into the network switch or the PoE switch. And so I'll plug it onto the network switch in this manner. So the first camera has been connected to the network switch. A next step is to as well connect a cable from the second camera and also plug into the network switch. I'll plug it up into any of the available ports here since I'm utilizing only two cameras so I can plug it anywhere. So I'll put it into these ports here. Now that the two cameras have been connected to the network switch, there's a need to establish a connection between the network video recorder and the network switch. So we require another network cable as well. So we'll plug up the network cable on the LAN port on the network video recorder this way. We'll plug it up here. And the second end here will then go into the network switch. We can use any of the Appling ports on the network switch here. So we'll plug it up to the first one here like this. And so the NVR and the network switch have now been connected together. The rest of the connections will now be done on the NVR. We would have to plug up a USB mouse into the any of the USB ports here for controlling the NVR. So I'll plug up a mouse here. And then also there is also an HDMI port, HD out port here, through which I can connect a TV screen. So the there is an HDMI cable that is coming from my TV set on which I wish to view the MVR. So that cable that is coming from my TV screen, I can plug it up to the HDMI output of the MVR here. Okay, so now that that is done as well, we also require to supply power to the MVR through the DC power port there. And here is its uh, power adapter that we can plug up there and then go to plug this end to the power extension. So that does it for the connections. We'll proceed by turning on power to the NVR. So the device has started loading up. Now that the MVR has successfully loaded up, we would have to now log on to the MVR and then have to search for the cameras that we have connected to the NVR. So what we'll do is that we'll right click on the screen and select menu. It gives us the login interface of the NVR of which we'll have to enter the password. We are still having the the default password or the default username and password on this NVR, which is the admin as the username and then the password is one two three four five six and then we can enter or click on ok it tells us 
password security level is too low do you want to change the password we will not change the password for now and so we'll just click on cancel so we can then right click again and select menu now at the menu at the main menu we would have to come to channel manage and click on ok at the channel manage window here we would have to come to the right top corner here where we have add channel and click on add channel so we'll click on add channel here and then also you realize that we have auto add selected and we have various protocols below that we have the zk teco p the onviv and then the zk teco so we'll turn off the zk teco p protocol we'll turn off the onviv protocol as well and maintain the zk teco protocol so after that we'll just click on refresh and so you can see cameras or two cameras listed for us here so we'll come to the left corner here and select the two cameras after selecting the two cameras we'll click on ok and you can see that we are back onto the channel manage page and we have the two cameras listed here and under connection status you can find that the two cameras are showing online which means that the cameras have been successfully added to the nvr so we can just exit this window and you see the two cameras live on screen so we'll close the window and exit the main menu and you can see the two cameras listed or shown on the screen currently with video when i wave at the two cameras you can see that the my hand is showing in the two cameras indicating that they are live or the two cameras are live connected to the nvr and so that's the installation process please ensure you subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification so we can always be notified anytime we come up with new videos like this thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye